oh, the best package to get in the mail. I feel very fall today. I went directly from summer into fall. Wham! I've got like the, what is this on my nails? I think this is Essie's chinchilla. Chinchilla, isn't that a, like one of those big hamster things? Pretty sure I had one of those in kindergarten. Not, not me personally, but in kindergarten, we had a chinchilla and we got to take care of it and bring it home. His name was Rainbow. It bit my finger, but it's fine. Hello everyone, I am here today with a very fun video, as you guys saw before, Sephora haul. So excited. I love all the new products that come out for fall, all of the great new trends coming up, and all of the fun new makeup products. So I thought I would share with you guys some of the things that I got today, and as you guys know, if you watch my videos, and if you don't, I'ma explain. Once I do this video, I am going to do an update in two weeks, two this many, sharing my thoughts on the products. So I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and what products are my favorite, which ones just didn't work for me, and hopefully that will help you guys if you are making some decisions on some products that you wanna buy for yourself. That being said, if there are any products that I talk about today that you guys really wanna see either a buy or buy on, like a, like a first impressions versus a more in-depth review on, or if there's any sort of looks you guys wanna see um, me do in the future, let me know. So, with that said, Let's get into this because I'm excited. So the first product I want to talk about is a nail polish. And this is one that I saw online and it had like a picture of the nails and I was like, oh, I need it. And this is by Nails Inc. Nail Kale. Nail Kale? It's like a, like a spinach for your nails. This is in Richmond Park Gardens and I think it's supposed to be like a, a semi-matte navy blue. Um, but I thought that would be perfect for winter and like later in the fall. Actually, full disclosure, I actually ordered two of them I'm an idiot. I guess added it to my cart twice because I saw it and I was like, ooh, add. And then I went and did something else and I came back and I'm like, ooh, add. Ugh. This is what happens when you don't pay attention, Rachel. Moving on. Next up, I got the backlight priming filter. This is from Becca and it is supposed to be more than just a primer. That's the first thing. Infused with three unique filtering luminescent pearls to add a different type of diffused light, I guess. I'm all about that glow, even in the fall. I think that that is important, especially when you're wearing those really dark lips. I think it's important to have like a nice glowy complexion just so you don't look super zombie-like. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. I like the packaging. It's all matte on the outside. That's nice. Let's test this out on my hand. I hate how you have to like pump it like a gajillion times before you get any product out. And I'm always scared I'm gonna, ah! There, see? I wanted to get just a little amount and I got a whole amount. Ah, oh, no, this is wasteful. To put it back on. Can I do that? Is it gonna dry weird? No, must keep the product clean. Try out this giant amount that I put on my hand here. So, I'll show you with my weird, what is this? This looks like a, like a crane or something. It blends in really nicely, almost feels like water on the skin, which is nice, but like creamier. It's very pretty, like a good consistency. I like it so far. It does have a smell to it. it has some fragrance. Now I am very sensitive to fragrance, being pregnant and everything. Um, so, and for those of you that didn't know I'm pregnant, surprise! So it's really, really pretty. Um, I, it does have like a very light, luminizing glow factor to it. I like it. I don't know if this uh, whole smell thing is gonna bother me. Bother? It's gonna bother me. That glow though, mm-hmm. I like it. Then I ordered the uh, Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick, and I ordered this in the color Venetia. I hope I pronounced that right. But look at this color. Can we talk about this for a minute? I think this is gorgeous, and I'm excited to see how this does in terms of staying power, because, you know, I'm always looking for a stay all day lipstick. Does this actually stay all day? I don't know. Oh, pretty, sort of like a corally, corally red. Oh, I'm excited. That is beautiful. It does not feel very liquidy on the skin. It feels very much like a smushed down lipstick. Best way I can describe it. it has a sponge tip applicator, very thin sponge tip applicator, so hopefully that means it's gonna be a little bit easier to apply. Then, I'm not gonna lie to you, I opened this. I have not swatched it, but I opened it because I really wanted to see what the colors look like. This is the uh, Makeup Forever Palette 9 Artist Shadow. Wait, hold on. Palette 9 Artist Shadow or 9 Artist Shadow Palette. <laughs> I, why, why is it written both ways? But it's just a really nice neutral palette. I'm struggling to find a highlight that is really nice for pale skin. And I just find they're either too white or they're too beige, they're too dark, they're too like glittery. I don't know, I just, I'm struggling. So I thought this would be really pretty when I saw some swatches online, so. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I have a feeling this is going to be a good, good, good 
I'm too excited, I can't even talk. But the Makeup Forever shadows are supposed to be really, really good. Nice and creamy, good consistency, not a lot of fallout. So I am excited to play around with this. Maybe I'll do some looks for fall. Maybe some nice, like, coppery ones. What does this copper look like? Um, can we talk about that for a minute? That is so nice. I heart that a lot. I also had to pick up, this is all wrapped in bubble wrap, the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. And it's been sold out for so long. And I was like, I really want to try it and like support my fellow YouTuber girl, you know? I've never met her in person, but I think she's fabulous. She's so pretty, guys. This is a shimmering skin perfector pressed um, highlight. And this is called Champagne Pop. You get this plastic thing off. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, that's it. There we go. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't do that first. It is more gold than I was anticipating, but that was just me in my head just thinking it was more of a white toned, but um, really, really pretty. Like a white gold kind of tone, but like super, you see that? Can you see that? That little flicka flicka? Highlight on fleek, you know? I've been waiting so long to try this. I'm excited. I'm gonna wipe these swatches off my hand so I can, so I'm not covered in swatches. Anyone else have that problem when they actually go into the Sephora store? Like I have to like, walk around with like a pad of these. Otherwise, it's like literally all up my arm, like swatching! I also bought the Hourglass Corrective Concealer. I've heard incredible things about this concealer. It is supposed to be very similar to the really, really popular um, concealer out there. What is it called? The name escapes me. But it is one of the most popular ones out there. It's super creamy. Oh! No, I thought I had it. <laughs> I don't have it. Hold on, I need to look this up. This is gonna bother me. The Cledipo, Cledipo is a really, really popular concealer. It is extremely expensive, and this is supposed to be a really good dupe for it. Uh, again, Hourglass is also very expensive, but it's not like $300 expensive or however expensive this is. $117 on one website. Whoa, that is pricey. So this is like half the cost. If not less, I don't even know. Was it $30? Something like that? It's supposed to be just a beautiful finish. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. It doesn't settle into any spots or dryness or anything like that. So I'm excited to try this. Then I got a whole bunch of the Urban Decay, um, the new Matte Revolution lipsticks. These were actually sent to me. I did not order these online, but I thought I would share them with you. I'm not affiliated with Urban Decay in any way. They're not paying me to talk about this. I just wanted to include it because they're new and I thought I would swatch them for you guys and see if they're any good. So um, the ones that I got, I got a whole bunch here. So generous of them. So I'm gonna swatch them and just see how they look on the skin. Ooh, pretty. Oh, that is darker than I was anticipating. Okay, hold on. That is one swipe, again with a crane arm. That is much browner than I was anticipating. Still very pretty, really good color for fall. I should like hold it like this, like, like a normal person. We'll do stark naked right beside it just so we can see a comparison here. Okay, so this is lighter. Oh. I like smushed it. <laughs> My hands are too bony, guys. More of a peachy tone, much more of a nude tone, whereas this one is obviously much more brown. Then I will get in and I'm going to swatch the two red ones. My swatching game is not good, guys. I wish I had really pretty swatches, but I don't. Ooh, this one looks pretty. Ooh, big fan of that one. Oh, that is going, oh, I'm excited about this one. This is Bad Blood. Oh, so excited, this is so pretty. Okay, so these are the two reds. So this one obviously is more of an orange tone, like a ready orange. This one though, look at that. That is a crimson blood red. I'm very excited about that one. I wanna try this black male one. This one looks like a very deep purpley black color. Ooh, that is nice. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like that. That is really nice. Very nice smooth finish, sort of a, a deep, wine tone. Oh, and they're very creamy, guys. They're beautiful. And they're matte, but they seem to almost have like almost like a semi-matte finish. They they don't look too drying, which is really nice. So I'm excited to test these out. I think they're gonna be really pretty. Also, you guys know how much I love my um, Hourglass Ambient Light Trio palette. I think it's beautiful, especially for underneath the eyes. And so I had to pick up another one of their um, pal or powders, and this is in Mood Light, which is a beautiful sort of a lavender tone, so it's supposed to brighten and lighten up the complexion, so I think that's going to be really pretty. I'm excited to play around with this one a little bit. And then lastly, I got a bunch of stuff from the Burberry collection, and this was actually sent to me again. This was not something that I purchased online. It was literally sold out everywhere. I don't know what it is. Support Canada, please restock things. So I thought I would share them with you. Um, so this is the Burberry Nail Polish in uh, Poppy Black. Woo! Oh, I love their packaging. That's so gorgeous. The Can you see that? With the Burberry sort of the matte finish on the lid. Oh, that is nice. Poppy Black, that's an interesting name. 
I don't know what that means, but I am excited. Then two more nail colors. So this one is in Cadet Green. Never really gotten into the whole green vibe for colors on the nails, but that is very pretty. It's almost like a moss green, almost like a matte moss green. I want to say a bluey undertone. I think that's going to look really nice on the nails. No normally I don't really wear a lot of green polish because I think it almost makes you look kind of sickly and dying. I like that. I'm excited about that. And then this one is in khaki green. This is more of a brown tone, like a moss green. So we'll see how dark it is on the nails. I'm really excited about that moss green dough. And then I got one of their uh, Burberry Kisses Hydrating Lip Color, and this is in nude beige. Again, I heart this packaging so much. <laughs> so pretty. Ooh, what? Look at that. Look at the way it's sketched in. This is like a piece of art. Oh, I still have my swatches on my hand. Okay, hold on. Let's put it at the bottom here. Okay, it's definitely more of a layering one. It's not as like shocking as these ones where it's just like one swipe and you're like, whoa, it's got a nice sheen to it. Can you see that? That'll look really pretty on the lips. Very easy, like everyday wearable color, I feel. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Nude colors are just like, they're so sketchy and iffy for me just because I'm so pale. It, it makes me look sick or they're too beige. So I'm hoping this looks nice. This is the Burberry Autumn Winter 2015 Runway Palette. Has some camo on it. That's exciting. They don't joke with the packaging here, people. It's got its own little, it's got its own little case. What? All right. Oh, it's literally, okay. This is literally camo. I find these personally to be a little bit tricky to apply and put on because you have to be very precise in where you place your brush. Otherwise you're going to pick up some of the other color. Like for example, this is in the middle of all of this black. So if you pick up any of the black when you're trying to pick up the white, it's just going to transfer and it's gonna look this nice gray color in the inner corner. That's just like a personal preference thing. I've never really enjoyed those. Excited about the nail polish, excited about the lip. This is like a, mm, I don't know. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love Sephora hauls or just hauls in general and you're excited for the video update in two weeks. So check back, make sure you're subscribed so that you can come back here and see what products that, you know, are hits and misses and all of that fun stuff. And hopefully I can do a drugstore haul in the next little while too because I find fall is such a big month for new launches and stuff like that. And um, if there are any products in particular you want me to test out, leave them in the comment section below. And um, that is everything. That is all I had to say. Thank you so much again for watching, guys, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah!